In this video, I'm going to show you where you can find your stream key to stream to Twitch. I'm also going to show you how you can put it into OBS to actually stream. My name is Sri and I make stream support videos. Stream smarter, not harder. Before I begin, I stream every Tuesday and Friday, 8pm Central European Time on twitch.tv slash If you have any questions about streaming, feel free to hop in and ask them. So what we need to do to find our stream key is to go to twitch.tv. Right here we can click on our icon and then go to the creator dashboard. Left here we see preferences. Click on that and go to channel. Here at the top we see primary stream key. This is where you find your stream key. We just have to copy this, so click on copy. So what we need to do now is put this in our OBS. This is our OBS. I disabled the preview real quick because otherwise we get streamception. To add this, we go to settings down here and click on stream. Here we can put our stream key. We just remove this and control V to paste it or right click and click on paste. And then make sure to click on apply. We can set our server here as well. For me, Amsterdam is the closest by, but look at the server that is closest by to you. If you have troubles with your server, you can always change the server to something that is also kind of close to you. If you had another stream key, for example from YouTube or from Restream or from Periscope, you can set it here to the actual stream key from that platform if you ever want to change platforms or if you want to test them out. What I also want you to make sure of is to go to video and set the resolutions here. I usually stream on 720p just because if you don't and you don't get transcoding, which is quality options, people with bad internet can follow your stream along. So I recommend if you are not a partner yet to stream on 720p. So we set this base canvas on 1080p and the output on 720p. I cannot change these right now because I'm actually filming this video with my OBS and therefore I can't change the quality options when I'm actually using it, you know? I think that was pretty simple. It's not really the hardest part of setting up OBS. I got a lot more videos about OBS. If you really want to know how it works and you want to dive deeper into it, just hop into this playlist with me all about OBS.